everybody had a wonderful holiday. Okay, I'm going to try to um, get something to work here for the technique that I'm looking for. I have put a thin, very thin coat. In fact, I even used a brush um, on this uh, surface here. It's a cardboard surface, one that my husband made for me out of uh, MDF paneling. And uh, I'm putting uh, a fine mist of water on here right now to keep it good and wet. I'm trying some different techniques just to see if I can get the results I've been wanting. So far, it hasn't worked. And I'm thinking that I put too much paint as a base, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing this time. So, the idea is to get something that looks like flowers. Something that reacts similar to a technique that will react similar to the boom gel, which I thought was a really cool um, effect. So here we go. I'm going to try it. See. This is a mixture of gold and golden quinacridone. Azo Gold, I believe it is. I'll, I'll tell you the colors later. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with this. I don't want too much paint on. I keep overdoing the amount of paint. So we'll see what happens here. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is, this is sort of weird, but I've been wanting to try in order to keep my lines thin, I've been wanting to try one of these, these things. Ah, so here we go. We'll see if this works. Oh, well, it's easier to control it, that's for sure. So, so far so good. I've got some on order. They're catheter um, syringes is what they're called. So I'm going to be doing some demonstrations with that to see how that works. All right, so there we go with that. Now, okay, now the idea is, I think what I'm going to do is, I don't have another one of those syringes, so I think what I'm going to try to do is just to see if I can get a little bit of this red on just for some contrast. So I've mixed up some red and again I'll tell you what the colors are towards the end or I'll post them on the bot on the bottom of them now this one I'm going to do just a few I think I'll just do it all right now it won't look right it won't be balanced if I don't do it all over so so I'm going to try to just real lightly just a little bit to give it some different color okay so there we go all right now the next thing is I'm going to see. I wish I had my I wish I had my uh, airbrush going, but of all things, I ordered an airbrush for my Christmas present to me, and there was a part that wasn't working right. Now you can see what's happening now. This is like kind of moving out. So let me see if I can get a straw and start blowing and seeing what happens. I think I'm going to flip this around so I'll be a little closer to me. Since I went and put it up at the top, like a dummy. Okay. Let me see. For some reason, it's all blurry. I think it's because there's so much white going on. That isn't good. Okay, there you go. I don't know what exactly how that worked, but anyhow. So here we go. Okay, that's too dark, but it is selling, so um, let me see, what can I do? I don't have my hair dryer out here, should have thought about that. 
Let me see if I can just put a teeny bit of this white here and there, and maybe that will work. I know one thing, it gets muddy real quick if you if you just come back and do too much to it. So let me see if I can just do a little bit here on this one corner. Just a teeny bit, see what happens. All right, let me see what happens with that. That seems to be working good. All right, let me get some rest of this on there. So we get a little bit of white on top. Um, okay, right here. All right, let's say that's good. That's good. I'm going to get my head in the way probably, but Quite as freeform as I was wanting it. Looks a little bit contrived to me. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I know I don't wait long enough. It seems like to do what I it allow the paint to do its job. I think what I need to do is to get a little bit more of the white around the edges and I'm going to try it right up here see if that works hmm use this old brush okay, working good scratch that idea just use my finger All right, that seems to be doing pretty good. So we'll do a little bit more over here before it starts drying on me. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's getting some selling around the areas where that white is touching it, which is good. Okay, let's see here. So far, so good. Hope I didn't get that too thick there. Go from one thing to another. Okay, Let's see here.
Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> I don't want it pure white, so we'll see what this turns up here. I don't want it to look stark down here, so I don't think it's going to. I don't know, this works with resin. I don't know if it's going to work with acrylics or not. We'll see. Very good, okay. Now, let's see here. Let's see if I can wipe my hands off and see if I can do a little bit more blowing into this thick, thicker paint. And maybe that will get it looser. Here we go. Hmm. Spritz just a little bit of water on it. That's a bit better. You better have some good lungs. Mm -hmm. See, I think I'm gonna flip it around. Let's see if I can get this other side over here done a little bit easier. Oh, okay. Okay. Take a breath here. All right, here we go. Hmm. 
Okay, let me see. I think we need a little bit more white right here. Gosh, I might get that off. Just a teeny bit. Now, so I can blow that. That's lacing really good there. Go see what happens if I kind of touch that here and there. Get a little bit more lacing. Okay, oh, there you go. That'll lace it. All right, let me get this back out of the way. Wrong end. No. Wrong end of the straw. I think I better leave that alone and make it into mud. Okay, this area up in here might need a bit more. Too long, it makes mud. Remember, remember. Fine line between overdoing it. As Chris Mathers reminded me, thanks, Chris. I needed that reminder. Okay. That area right there is kind of low on paint, but I'm afraid to put more paint on there. I'm afraid I'll ruin it. Okay, that looking pretty good there. Okay, that's pretty good. We need to soften this edge up a bit, I think. And that down there kind of looks like a mess. Oh, this darn thing, I can't believe it. I don't know why it's doing that. That's too much white, I think. But I can't see. It's going to mess the whole video up. Too much white. Okay, let me see if I can do something here. I'm going to get something and put... I'm going to do a bit of a splatter or something here. I don't know exactly what, but i got to do it quick. Maybe if I... I can't put that red there because... All right, I'm going to just pour some paint here. I'm going to do kind of like a dirty pour right here on the... right here on my plastic. I don't think this video is going to be any good anyhow. Now, I'm going to
Okay, at least you're beginning to see a bit. It goes, goes off. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to show you. All right. Let me see if I can flip this around so I can get to the other side. Okay. At least you'll be able to see it now a little bit. Maybe I can figure out how to cut out all that blanked out white look and at least show you some of it. Remains to be seen. Yeah, I got real quiet, but you don't need to hear me talking. You can see what I'm doing. So, if you want to try this, you can see it's not hard to do. All right, let's see. One or two up here. Just to say I put some up there. trying to get rid of some of that obvious swir uh, smears Okay, step back and look at it. Let's see what we got. Hmm. I think I need to let the paint do its work now. I think it's kind of got enough color down here at the bottom to where it doesn't look like it's not joined to the rest of the color. Uh, I've got some nice color in here. And so I think, woohoo, there you go. Yep, I think that's good. Maybe. The trouble of it is, it's so much fun doing this, I don't want to stop. But I, that's what makes you overdo it. So I need to take a deep breath, step back, and let it 
happen. I really like that gold that's in here. Um, okay, I guess it'd be a good time to go ahead and tell you what colors I used, although I think you could use anything, really. Um, I used uh, basically the same colors I used on the last one that I messed up, and I'll show you that real quick. This is the um, Arti uh, let's see, Artili Artirier, Artilier, Artilier, I believe is how it's pronounced, Qu Quinn, I uh, can't pronounce that, Quinn, I don't know, whatever. It's Quinn. I call it Quinn Red Violet. Artillier. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I use that. And that's for the dark, kind of the more purpley color. And then I mixed in some Pero Crimson by Liquitex. All right. And then I mixed the combination of Quinn Nickel Azo Gold in uh, Golden. And uh, I used um, a dab of this. The reason I did that is because it's a glossy varnish and it helps to keep the colors glossy and bright rather than flat because when you use that Floetrol, I have found, at least in my experience, that it makes the paint real flat when it dries. So that's why I put that in there. I did put in some of the GAC, uh, Golden GAC 800, and that was uh, just to ensure that uh, there was enough elasticity in there. So if I got my paint too thick, that it didn't um, crack when it dried. Now this gold here, I believe is a Liquitex. Yeah, it's a Li Liquitex Basic Gold, which I had mixed up, and it was mixed up with the uh, Liquitex uh, Pouring Medium and um, blow trial and water, which was my uh, earlier mixes. So I added water, of course, to everything just a little bit to thin it out a bit. And um, yep, I think that's it. I only use those four colors and white, of course, and I use my regular white that I always use, which is the house paint, uh, Dutch Boy Ultra. Let's see, what's it called? Dutch Boy DuraClean. And I thinned that down with the, um, let's see, I thinned that down with a lot of flow troll. I probably put two parts flow troll to one part paint, added a little bit of water, but I kept the paint pretty thick because I already had a coat of, um, that I had painted on. And it seems to help the it seems to help the um, picture or the paint from not moving so much if you paint a thin coat on first, then put your color down, uh, which is what I did, and then in order to soften the edges and be able to incorporate it, then as you saw, I had to put the thicker white paint back into uh, around the edges there. So, yep, I'm tempted to do something, but I'm not. I think I learned my lesson on the last little deal to not mess with it. Uh, once you have said, okay, it's good, because it seems to muddy it up. And as you can see, there's a lot of really pretty lacing going on. Uh, this area in here to me looks a little bit dry and I probably should put a little bit of paint in there just because it's dry and I'm scared to do it, but I can see the, I can see the board. So I'm going to put just a drop in here and see if I can uh, maybe blow it about a bit or maybe I'll just, instead of blowing, I'll just do it like that. That way it won't be so invasive. Maybe that'll work. Maybe I need just a bit of white. No, that's not white. I'm going to put a bit over here on my plastic just so I can stick my finger in it and see if that will be good enough. Yeah, I think that'll work. 
that way blowing it after you get to this point that's what I did wrong last time I made it muddy it was places that was too dark like this right here and instead of just putting some white paint in with my finger I came in and blowed it again and it muddied it all up so I think it'll be fine just to tap it with the white in the areas where I want it to be a little bit a little bit more contrast in color we'll see how that works and I'm hoping that because there's not a lot of heavy white paint underneath this that um, the the way it looks now will pretty well stay except for maybe some of the paint changing it's not going to really move a lot and that's what the always is, is the problem for me is that it just con contorts and moves and that's what I was noticing with that um, oh that boom gel it didn't look like it moved that much so but anyhow can't get the bloom boom gel so forget that so I got to work out with how I can get that effect which I love the effect that she got which was similar to this I think she called it cherry blossoms so um, yeah we'll see what happens with this so I've got some white I touched in there and to me it's looking pretty good and we'll just see what happens yep I think that's gonna be good I'm gonna call it good anyhow I don't know what I'm doing Barbara a spot down there that was just a big dollop of red so yeah let me see if I can get a little bit more white paint on there that looks a little bit better it looked like it was just a mistake down there okay hands off I don't uh, know maybe I better run over it real quick with um, with the uh, torch just to make sure there's no bubbles on there I think I got out of propane so I might have to stop and put propane in it butane rather yeah it's out okay well there's no point in messing with that right now while I've got the video running I'm going to turn the video off and um, oh I want to show you that real quick before I forget I want to show you that other painting that I did and you will be able to see hopefully just a minute this is almost totally dry there was a few uh, places here that see if I had left it alone this is what was happening but it wasn't happening all over I'll have to say that but I came back in here you see all this mess in here I came back in there and started blowing on it and it just messed everything up see how muddy it got so this is what I was getting I don't know if you can see that or not that flower right there that's really pretty that one and that one so there was a few of them that you know stayed that I didn't mess with basically and this is the really cute little um, where I touch my finger and it looks like little seed heads or something that have come off of my flower which is the look that I wanted to happen like these flowers were losing their leaves or their blossom and uh, that's what was falling down that was the idea 
This also I used titanium buff on it and I don't like that. I was trying to not get too stark of white, but to me it looks dirty or kind of this. I don't like that. It doesn't look good. So there's that. Hopefully this video will be something I can uh, post for you. Alrighty. I guess I will turn it off right now. And if you see it, then we did good. And if it's all blurry and white, I don't know if I'll post it or not. Anyhow, hope y'all are having fun like me on this dreary, dreary winter day. Um, pouring. Only thing makes the day good. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.